I don't know about you lot, but I'm just sick to death of a lot of them. The whole UK Parliament are an absolute embarrassment. They're a joke. They're like school children. They're squabbling school children. SNP comes along. It's our turn to bring the bill to Parliament. We want to call for a ceasefire. Labour, oh yeah, but that's going to cause squabbling and infighting in Labour. Can we, can we call for a humanitarian ceasefire? The Tories, no, we need to call for a, a, a humanitarian pause. This is the best use of your time over the last couple of days. This is how you can be most productive, is it? For the UK people that pay you 80 grand a year. When we live in a country where pensioners are freezing cold because they're too scared to put the electric on. When we live in a world where uh, families are being turfed out of rented accommodation because the landlord put the rent sky high. When people are waiting months on end for operations in the NHS, when we've got child poverty, we've got food banks, we've got ever increasing homeless population. This is the best use of your time, is it? To squabble like school children about this over the last couple of days in Parliament. I swear, we need, we need to get Guy Fawkes in, right? We need to burn the whole thing to the ground. We really do. We need to burn the whole thing to the ground, start from scratch. Because we can't just do little, oh, we do a little tweak here, we do a little amendment here. No, the whole lot needs to go. We're dealing with 2020 politics with a system that was made in the 1700s. It doesn't work. And it's corrupt to the fucking core. The whole place is corrupt. I mean, just take the last year alone. How many by-elections have we had? How many by-elections with an MP that was caught up in expenses scandals or sexual misconduct or lobbying charges over the last year. How many by-elections, how many MPs have lost their jobs through corruption? It's a disgrace, it's an absolute disgrace. We need to start from scratch, we really do. And you find some of the best democracies in Europe are the ones, the newest ones. You know, we're still dealing with 17th century uh, uh, politics in Parliament. It's a disgrace. It needs to go. It needs to start from scratch and start in with a proportional representation voting system. Scrap first past the post. We can't be dealing with these massive political parties anymore. That's why we're getting problems. That's why Labour are like, oh, we're going to cause infighting. We need smaller parties that have a definitive vision about what they're about and what their core values are. Not Labour or the Tories that have got to try to appeal to a massive broad audience and keep all their members in check. It doesn't work. We need PR voting system. House of Lords needs to go. Don't even get me started on the House of Lords. Jesus Christ, we still live in a country where if your father earned a massive estate a hundred years ago and has a title of Duke Wellington Fancy Pants the Third, you still get to have influence on policy because your father owned an estate. You get to have a peerage in the House of Lords and have influence on policy that goes forward because your father earned an estate. We still live in this world in 2020. We also live in a world where prime ministers get to be bunged a load of Russian money to put an ex KGB agent son in the House of Lords. It's a disgrace. It's a joke. But we all sit here like, oh, well, yeah, this is the English Parliament, hundreds of years of tradition. Oh, fuck off. The place is corrupt to the core. It needs to burn to the ground. We need to start again. Scrap the House of Lords. Get in a citizens' assembly, like a like a jury service. We pick random members of the public to come in and have final say on policy that goes through. PR voting system, more localised government, more power locally to deal with it and get people engaged in local politics. And uh, referendum, okay? okay, of course, you need to have an unbiased media source for this to work, but half of the problems that we've seen in, seen in Parliament over the last year with this squabbling, like the Rwanda bill, how much time in Parliament was wasted on the Rwanda bill. Put it to the public. The majority of the public don't want it. They see it as an obvious waste of money. Situation would have been resolved. Same with this stuff. The majority of people in this country want a ceasefire in Gaza. Put it to the public and then get on to the important issues in this country of freezing cold pensioners and starving children. I've had enough. I've had enough. The whole place needs to burn to the ground and start from scratch. It's uh, it's a joke. It's a fucking joke. Absolute joke. 
Oh, God, if you enjoyed the video, click a like. If you haven't subscribed, you can subscribe up top. There'll be another video. You can check that out as well. Till next time, take care.